Well, here I am still working on these axes. I've made it over to my buddy's house, Bud. And his son is now running that axe handle uh, store, anyway, running it out of their garage. Maybe I'll take you over there and introduce you to him. Got some wonderful handles, but uh, picked up a few handles and uh, I've rehandled this one. Little 24 inch uh, little truck axe. I'm going to use that in my truck. Set it behind the seat. Anyway, I've cleaned this up and I just wanted to show you. I don't know if you can make that out. There's a maker's mark right there. I can't really read it, but it's a three and a half pound axe. This is one of those I just could not polish up or anything or grind on. It's got too much history. This is a axe that looks like it was made right in a blacksmith shop. Old axe. Um, just kind of fell in love with this thing. It's got a lot of edge left on it. As you can see it's chipped up and got some pits there. <clears throat> I'll take that down and clean it up and reprofile it and sharpen it up. Look good. But uh, These handles that I get, they come with a wax finish on them and I always just uh, spend a little time after I get them fitting on the axe and, and uh, sand all that wax finish off and finish them up with some linseed oil but I got a little surprise for this one so stick around. Well like I said I did uh, get over to the axe handle guy and picked up some handles and got some of these heads cleaned up wedges. Picked up this little handle here for this little hatchet here. It's a little Winchester. Never owned one of those, but I think it's going to make a pretty, pretty good little hatchet. Um, I don't think I've yet found a handle that I want to put in this yet. I'm kind of selective on that one. That's my baby. But I uh, did pick up some double bit handles and of course I had this one in the shop already, but that's my project right now. Okay, well, let's get to work. Well, I've often seen some burned handles and I'm gonna give my hand at it and see what uh, see how this turns out. I think I'll just put a burn on it and sand it a little bit, see what kind of a contrast I get, but I think that old axe head right there deserves a little rustic look. It's an old timer. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess the theory is here is a lot of the softwood is going to burn and the harder grain is going to stand out when you sand it, something like that. So, let's see what kind of a little finish we can put on this handle. never done this before learning as I go <laughs> maybe this isn't the way to do it but you know, let me finish that up bring you back in a minute that's what it looks like so far. I just burned it. Ooh, it's still hot. Anyway, I'm going to take a little sandpaper and see what kind of a relief I get on this. And contrast. Wow, it's still hot. I'm going to have to give that a minute. Well, that's kind of the effect I was looking for. It'll look beautiful with some linseed oil on it. Yeah. I think it might do this old head some justice there. Cool. This is what I use here, just some boiled linseed oil, and you've seen me all do this before. Look around for a little container, all I had was this little tea light. Cup. 
And I like using a sponge brush. They're cheap. They apply the, the oil nicely and you don't have to get your fingers in it much. So, you know, I don't know if you're supposed to coat this part, but it's going to protect it, so I'm going to do it. Usually I don't. Usually I have the axe hung by now and the head on there and ready to go. And then I go, oh, yeah, you got to finish the handle, so I'm going to do it this way this time. And so, tell me if I'm right or wrong, but you just think that it's going to protect that wood up there, too, so keep the moisture out. And who knows? But I don't work too hard with these axes. <laughs> I, uh, I enjoy them. But, uh, I don't know. They deserve a redo, you know? These old guys lay around and stuff, and it's just sad they lay there. And they're nice to look at, but they're fun to use too. So, you know, I'm telling you, by using this sponge brush, let's see, what's that little tea light hold? Maybe two, three tablespoons. You know, I still got plenty. Putting it on really thick, and and uh, so you know. Just keeps you from wasting a bunch of it, dumping it on a rag, and and uh, these little sponge brushes. I just uh, I put them in a plastic baggie and throw them in the fridge here at the shop. And I have frozen before, but I find they keep just fine. Actually, this one's been laying on the bench for a month and uh, hasn't dried out. Well, maybe yeah, about three weeks, I guess. But um, yeah. Just in a bag, you know. Just keeps them moist, and they finally wear out when you wear the sponge out. But look at that, you know. A couple, two, three tablespoons of linseed oil, and it's just coated on there, and I didn't waste hardly any. Linseed oil isn't cheap, so I don't like just throwing the stuff away. Well, let's let that rest a little bit, and we'll. Uh, Look at that. Pretty. <laughs> Pretty. Man. Handsome. Nice. Alright. Let's see what it looks like next. Well, as you see, I got the handle in it. And uh, I think it looks pretty sharp. You know, it looks pretty nice. I'll profile this thing. Probably should have done that, but I was getting anxious to see what it would look like. But anyway, I can do that. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a good one. Well, I got a bunch more to do, so not tonight, but I'm going to let that linseed oil sit on there overnight, and then tomorrow I'll come in and put another coat on, and then I'll brandish it with some steel wool and. Wrangle Star just did a Wrangler Star just did a video on that. He did a top-notch job. And uh, okay, guys, that's what I got so far. Keep on working on these old guys, but man, I think that looks sharp. I think it looks good. I think it matches that axe so well. And this is not a 24-inch handle. It's a 20-inch handle, so. I'll tell you why I did that is because uh, here in the Pacific Northwest, uh, the loggers use these um, little short handled three and a half pound axes um, when they're falling timber. They go out and they'll have this in their side carry pouch there or in their rucksack. And anyway, when they pound wedges, they use them to chop uh, brush around a tree or something like that but mostly they use them to pound the wedge when they're filling a tree and that's kind of what I had in mind for this one and it's all perfect and everything but they don't like these too much because of the rounded pole on them you know you got a plastic wedge there that's uh, full of saw gas and bar oil and stuff you know these slide right off and so they break a lot of wedges if they use these but I don't fall timber you know 
Um, I built this for me, and uh, this will be in my truck. I'll use it when I'm out and about. And just a nice little truck axe, but they prefer this style. But it's got a nice square pole on it. They can pound wedges with them, but a shorter handle. You know, I put a straight handle on this. This is the camp axe that I use, or am going to use. I've used it a couple of times, but uh, it's a nice Collins. Anyway, that's how far I am now, guys. I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. All right. Well, here I am back and. This is the next day, next evening, and that's what I got done so far. I think I showed you that yesterday, but um, got here this morning and I did go over it with some steel wool. And I'll go over it pretty vigorously when I do it, but that's all you do is just run some steel wool over all the surfaces. And one thing I do too, and nobody's really mentioned it, but uh, I run an old paper bag to um, regular store paper bag and just wad it up and give it this. And one thing I can say about that, you can't overdo it. You can make this thing so slick it'll fly out of your hands, but you know it really puts a nice sheen on this. And, so with that said, I've done that, and uh, what do they say? Once a day for a week, and then once a week for a month, and then once a month for a year. And uh, that's the process, the steps you do to treat these handles. So this is day two. I'm going to put another coat on here and do the same process all over again. But I don't know. I hope you agree. Uh, that is looking pretty good. I did start to profile this thing uh, using a file on it. Cleaned up that edge. Let's see, where's it at? There it is. I think it's going to make a fine axe, so let's see when I'm all done with it. But uh, this is day two, and this is the second coat. And I'll get that on there, let it dry, and then just repeat the steel wool and and uh, do that every day for the rest of the week. I won't show it all the time, but I may show this axe uh, once I get that that uh, edge done on it. Show it off a little bit. So, well, there it is so far, guys. I think it's looking pretty darn good. Let me know what you think. Over and out.